Calgary is a city of booms and busts. We have a long history of building booms followed by periods of inactivity. Calgary's first big boom happened in the 10 years before the First World War, and it peaked in 1912. We still have many wonderful houses from that era in spite of the boom and bust cycle that's happened since then, uh, from mansions to little workers' cottages. And 100 years on, in the midst of another building boom, we found that many, many Calgarians wanted to celebrate the 100th anniversary of their century homes. The drive behind Century Homes Calgary occurred in the summer of 2011 when a small volunteer group of very passionate heritage advocates from a number of different community organizations got together and connected over the idea of inviting Century homeowners to celebrate their house and also to do so in such a way that it would uh, be accessible and uh, of interest to Calgarians. What we were trying to do was basically collaborate with, with the communities, um, engage people, focus on the heritage piece of uh, Calgary. Calgary may not be known for its heritage, but I think that's coming along, it's evolving and people have more appreciation. We wanted to connect people who were like-minded in terms of celebrating heritage, and it wasn't only the built form heritage, it was about people. It's about the people who lived in these homes, who had many stories to tell, who had their lives, who built the city, who built the communities and should be honoured and respected. So we really promoted that angle and the reception was amazing. People wanted to talk about their homes, they wanted to come together and meet, they wanted to, to celebrate the history of their houses and they wanted to really focus on preservation of their home. We found it a really good way to connect with the grassroots, not only for the homeowners, the people who are renting the homes or living in the homes, help them learn more about the history of their homes, but also just people walking by on the street. So during the week when the signs were on display on the yards, I spent a lot of time walking around the neighborhoods myself and running into people who commented on what a wonderful project it was, what a great way to learn more about their neighborhood, their city, and the history of their, their community. This project changed our sense of community and I think that it really does help people to feel like their house is more of a home when they start researching and realize what's in, been involved or what's behind all these years. Um, I think people in Calgary or in newer cities tend to feel that houses are just houses and especially in our market here, people move all the time. When you feel like you own a piece of history, you're less likely to just move on. You're probably more likely to renovate it, fit, make it nicer and keep it. And I think our communities will change as we bring more recognition to this. This project has really helped. It generated a side um, of excitement that I don't usually see in this job. And we were very, very, very busy here with people. Huge amounts of people came in in July. And myself and my colleagues often had to come out en masse to help people do the research to show them how to use our tools and information. And there was a big level of excitement in our research area all the time as people made interesting discoveries. So it, it really reinforced to me that there is value in people learning about the history of their home because it helps them understand more about the time, about the city, and about the people that lived there. The project as a whole was, was a wonderful opportunity to work with some incredibly passionate people who, who gave it their all. I mean, I think we all worked very hard to make this a success and um, we're all thrilled that we had the participation that we did in it. It exceeded our wildest expectations. We thought we were going to have only 300, 350 people participate and it was like emails were coming in by the dozens of more and more people saying, I want to be a part of this, I want my home to be recognized as a century home. So that was really exciting and I also think that the stories that we gathered about people are the best parts about people's homes. Um, it's the kind of thing that we would never know about, all the unique histories of these um, you know, homes from workers' cottages up to big mansions, but we wouldn't know those stories of the people that live there if we hadn't done this project. And what I'm really excited about is the long-lasting legacy of that and the fact that it's going to last forever as this slice of time of 2012 and all these hundred-year-old homes that we celebrated.